great to have you join us this evening on Capital Market. I'm Temple Asha. You're welcome on board. To start with, you may join the conversation on Twitter at Channels TV and at CTV. Temple those are the major handles for the program. But let's start the show with a reminder of the top stories this week. And first is the release of the Doing Business 2018 report titled Reforming the uh, to create jobs as Nigeria moved up 24 places, exceeding its earlier projected 20 points to 145th and ranked in the top 10 most improved nations. The key areas Nigeria advanced on include starting a business, which is online registration of business and reduced turnaround time. Then the second is getting construction permits, uh, property registration, access to credit, and payments of taxes via electronic uh, payment and filing. Our second attraction on capital market this evening is the Purchasing Managers Index, which was released by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Now, the PMI for October shows both manufacturing and non-manufacturing sectors expanding. Manufacturing PMI settled at 55.0 points, that is 0 0.3 points lower than September's, but above the baseline threshold of 50.0 points. Now, the non-manufacturing PMI rose uh, 0 0.4 points month on month to 54.9 points. Now, this uh, news leads us to the uh, focus on capital markets this evening. Investments in the markets depend on the state of the economy. But when an investor's fund is locked down as a result of uh, one challenge or the other in a company and price movements becomes mysterious, how does such an investor cope? This could be the case of the investors in Wando PLC. And we'll be joined later by an analyst to get some perspectives on this concern. Let's see more stories uh, which actually shaped investment decisions for Nigerians and foreign investors this week. We'll look at uh, Diamond Bank, the Nigerian multinational lender. Diamond Bank says it plans to sell its subsidiaries in Bini, Togo, Côte d'Ivoire and Senegal. And that is in order to focus mainly on retail banking uh, in Africa's biggest economy. Of course, that is Nigeria. Now, this follows the completion of a share sale and purchase agreements to a Côte d'Ivoire-based financial services holding company, Manzi Finances SA, in August. The bank also plans to dispose its entire 1.985 million shares, which translates to 97.07% uh, of its outstanding shares in Diamond Bank SA in Bini for 61 million euros. Now, the company says it has obtained regulatory approvals in all juris jurisdictions for the transaction, which is expected to close before December the 31st of the same year. Some more stories with visuals now. The Securities and Exchange Commission this week carried out a financial literacy class for some students in Abuja and uh, candidates from 15 schools in Lagos. And according to the Director of Market Development, Mr. Henry Rollins, the aim is to catch them young for savings culture and help Nigerians distinguish between investments and scams. When you catch them young, you discover that the children will go back to their individual homes and imbibe the same knowledge on their parents. So catching them young means, first of all, that their parents who had been hitherto financially excluded will now be encouraged because they will no longer allow their parents to rest. Uh, they will now get included. Because what we're talking of inclusion is to have little sum of money and invest that money in products that can constitute a savings for the future. You saw in the uh, edutainment films that we, demo, we showed that somebody's retirement benefit was handed over to 419ers. By teaching these children right from this youthful age, they have already understood that it is criminal and uh, unprofitable to be greedy. When they get back home, they will share that knowledge with their parents. And if any parent is being accosted by such 419ers, uh, they will be cautious. So the advantage is that when they are caught young, they already begin to have the knowledge at, from a youthful age. And you all know that everything that sticks to the memory of children uh, uh, doesn't get erased. 
Now, a few weeks ago, Wema Bank PLC and its shareholders' approval to embark on capital reduction at an extraordinary general meeting. I caught up with the Deputy Managing Director of the bank, Mr. Ademola Adebise, and he explains how the negative nature of the general reserves prompted that action. So if you look at the components of our shareholders' funds, uh, there is the general reserves, which is in negative, and uh, with the general reserves in negative, uh, it's going to take quite a while to start uh, paying dividends. Also, the, in the, the eye of investors, uh, in the analysts would normally uh, uh, look at that um, with a very negative uh, uh, view. Uh, so what we've decided to do is basically to do a capital re reduction scheme. Uh, it's quite different from the reconstruction that we all know. Uh, reconstruction says that um, you uh, share some number of shares uh, for uh, one share and uh, over time uh, this uh, shareholders have normally um, worked against uh, against that so but the capital reduction basically is to uh, what we've done here is it's gone through the regulatory bodies they've signed it uh, even the FRC the CAC the SEC SEC and the central bank and basically what we've done is to follow the Communities and Allied Matters Act uh, sections of this common and allied matters which uh, stipulates how to do capital reduction. Right, um, let's now quickly take a look at some of these major numbers coming in from the markets this week. And we'll start with the NASD O2C, that's the Unlisted Securities Market, where the uh, Unlisted Securities Index uh, touched 612.96 points, uh, up 1.31% 1 1 as against 605.06 points that was reported last week. Market capitalization came in at 414.81 billion naira. Uh, that's uh, an improvement over the 409.46 billion naira recorded for the preceding uh, week. Over to the FMDQ OTC, where we have uh, bonds and treasury bills. The total deals are spot at 35. Total value is coming in at 3.67 billion naira. But that is the number for yesterday, uh, Friday, the 3rd of November. For the treasury bills, uh, while we saw more sentiments from investors, total deals is 834. 